Hey guys, it's Peaches and welcome back to The Sims 4. Today, we're building the Umbridge Manor for my little boxes project or my save file, however you want to call it. And this is a very special house because a very special family is going to live here. If you ever play The Sims 4, maybe or maybe not, you remember the Pleasants. Uh, they did actually live in Pleasantville, it was called. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be their house. And this is a very classic colonial, like, square, very simple type of house. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of different from the other ones around the neighborhood. And I wanted it to be like really perfect, kind of like a perfect home. I don't know, I think it fit the Pleasants very well to make a very square, plain and perfect type of house for them. And I really like how it turned out in the end. And the floor plan actually comes out together fairly quick. I thought I was going to have more trouble. I was I was actually following a floor plan that I looked on the internet. Uh, to s if you look for colonial house floor plan, you will find out things uh, that will be useful for you. Just a little tip. But yeah, if you don't know the Pleasant family, they're actually, they actually go back all the way to The Sims 1. So there was an older generation in The Sims 1 that started with uh, Daniel Pleasant, I believe, the, his parents. Um, and in The Sims 1, he was a little kid and they had pets. And it was, it's really fun to see, like, I guess that has changed a little bit throughout the years but it's kind of fun to see how they keep carrying the stories of the families they created in the sims 1 or at least they did for a while in the sims 4 is kind of all over the place because for example in the sims 2 uh cassandra and don lothario were engaged <laughs> which is a little bit strange because in the sims 4 cassandra is a teenager and yeah it's a little bit weird i guess it's like an alternate timeline i don't know however you want to call it i actually thought about making cassandra a young adult and having kind of like keep going with the storyline of her and don lothario but don lothario is now with what's her name katrina yeah, he's dating Katrina in The Sims 4 and they were kind of like getting serious, quote unquote. Um, and I think it would be a little bit weird to just, you know, change Cassandra's age. I don't know. Let me know what you think. What do you think about that? I don't think I'll ever change it, but it was in my mind for, for a while. But anyway, speaking of the Pleasants, uh, Max has actually made the Pleasants for The Sims 4. So you can actually find them in the gallery. I believe they're all base game if you want to download them, but I did make the Pleasants a long time ago, so my version will be up either tomorrow when you're seeing this or, I don't know, at some point this week, I hope. I have no idea what time I will be uploading this video because right now as I'm recording this, it's n almost 10 o'clock at night on a Friday and my week has been a mess and I don't know I don't know where my schedule is anymore it's it's kind of a mess but it will be up at some point in the video and I'll, I'll let you know if you don't follow me on Twitter you should because that's the best place to find out what I do and where do I when do I upload videos and all that stuff because many times I can't make it and I have to delay some of the videos I make like this week when I went to EA Play on I went to EA Play on Sunday uh, to I was invited to record a little bit of the new DLC that that's coming out uh, this coming week actually when you're seeing this probably and I had very little time to edit and to upload the video I had like a day so if I came back on Sunday from LA I spent all Monday editing that video, those videos, there was two of them actually, and 
I was exhausted, and I don't know how I managed to do it, but I did. I don't know how people who flew overseas managed to do it. But anyway, if you did not see those videos, I recommend you go check them out. I will link, link them in the eye up in the right top corner of the screen. You will see it pop in at some point and uh, down below in the description box if you're in interested. I do understand that some people might not want to see anything yet of the gameplay because they want to keep the surprise. But if you would like to check out the items only, I do have an create a sim and uh, build slash buy overview of the items. And uh, yeah. I honestly cannot believe that they actually invited me to just go and try the new expansion pack because that's never happened before. I did mention to um, Singer Frost that I live pretty close uh, from LA and that I wanted to at least come by and see EA play. And he said, oh yeah, I'll just put you in a list, blah, blah, blah. And I thought that's what just ended. <laughs> and then a week before EA Play, I got an email saying, hey, so you're invited to a content capture opportunity. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so I have very little time to prepare because I have two jobs. And I need to get time off from both of them. And it, w it was kind of a mess, but I managed to make it work. I also, because I only went on si Sunday, I had two hours to record overall and I basically rushed all the way through the items and the gameplay and I missed so many things <laughs> like the mermaids and their powers. I had no idea the mermaids had powers apparently and so many things but that's I mean I'm okay with it. It's just I prefer to record content at home because I can take my time and I can relax and I can get up and go to the bathroom and not be sitting at the edge of my seat being like totally tensed and I, ooh, it was so much pressure I just I mean I am still pretty grateful P please do not get me wrong I am super happy that I that I got this opportunity that I got invited to go because I it's just one if, if I only get to do this and not go to Sims Camp or something like that, I'm happy because that's always fun. I even got to meet some people like uh, Sim Lissy and Avalyn Sims and Hey Harry and they were all super nice and they even kind of invited me to go lunch and then I had a total uh, social anxiety moment and then I was like, you know what, I think I'm gonna go home <laughs> and I just left. And my husband who came with, with me said, why did you do that? And you know that I don't mind, right? And I'm like, yeah, but just let's, let's just go home. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, but yeah, that's, that's me, you know, always locked up at home. For once, uh, I got to do what I do at home, do it outside. And it, it's, it's not that fun. <laughs> it's really stressful. But anyways, now that we are in the topic of expansion packs, you know that they announced uh, a, sp a stuff pack and another game pack. And it sounds like the game pack is gonna be something magical related, probably witches, who knows. Um, how do you feel about that? I, I think it's exciting, I don't know, we'll see what happens because the only thing I'm kind of disappointed about is that they are actually doing what people feared that they were going to do, which is separate all of these life stages, like mermaids and... Well, mer mermaids were a part in The Sims 3, I guess. They were part of Island Paradise, I believe. But when it comes to supernatural creatures, vampires and witches and fairies and all of them, they were all in just one. I am not sure what they are deciding to separate them into into game packs. Maybe because they want to explore these life stages a little bit more. I'm not totally against it, I'm just a little skeptical, I guess. But if this means that they're going to develop all of these creatures like they did with vampires, so you have like a 
skill system and then you can like I don't know level up and stuff like that I haven't actually explored the vampires in this game too much but you know what I'm talking about if they actually do that which it sounds like they it sounds like they didn't with mermaids mermaids do have powers but they don't seem to have a level up a system like with skills and stuff like the vampires do I'm not sure but if do if we do get witches and by the way this is just me speculating I actually don't know anything because they don't tell most of game changers if that's your your thinking we actually don't know anything more than you do for the most part um, but if we do wait if we do get witches I want more than just spells I want to have like potions and stuff like that like we did in Sims 1 making magic was my favorite expansion pack ever like there is nothing that has been better than that even if these days is considered the very small expansion pack with very little things to do it was so much fun to like it, you you could collect the uh the magic coins and money to buy your own house in the um oh, what was it called the neighborhood magic town it was called magic town wow how original <laughs> but yeah it, it was a really fun expansion pack you could collect these really strange items like i don't know like a toad toads of sweat and stuff like that it was gross but it was so much fun and there was these like goofy little characters like uh vicky vampires uh who i don't remember what she did i think she sold you stuff like dragons and stuff like that i don't i think you could buy like a dragon egg from her but i don't don't quote me on that because i don't really remember and then there was a fairy too who also sold you another like another set of different uh items for you to make potions and um man what else i don't remember but it was just it was crazy and i remember playing excuse my language the out of that expansion pack and one time a giant stalk bean bean it's, it's is it called stalk bean it started to grow in my backyard and it just went like all the way through the screen you know that the sims one had like a fixated like you can only look through four sides and you can only zoom out so much so once the stalk well went all the way through the screen you could climb it and when you went all the way up um oh what was the name of the creator Ed, no i'm thinking i got right but that's the <laughs> that's the movie director bill wright is that his name I, I I am really sorry, I completely forgot, but he was like, there was a giant version of him sleeping on the clouds and at an open can of beans and you could get some beans, which is was also an ingredient for potions. You could get some beans and you could also click on the, on the guy sleeping and it will say, thanks for playing The Sims Making Magic. And it was such a weird thing. I felt so good discovering that because I was like... I don't know when did it came out 2003 so I was 13 years old when that expansion pack came out and it feels so good to find out that secret without any guides or anything man those were good times but anyways by the way this is Lilith 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 Lilith's bedroom that's a hard one to say uh, and she is the twin sister of Angela. Angela's bedroom is on the other side of the hallway. And she is kind of like the black sheep of the family. And The Sims 2, it was suggested that her parents did favor um, her sister over her. And she's kind of bitter about it. And she, her and Angela do not get along very well, apparently. And I did try to reflect that in their relationships, so I think I uploaded them like I'm going to... I think I already changed their relationships, but I could be wrong. 
If I didn't, I will do it before I upload the, upload the final site file. But the point is, they don't get along very well and they are kind of total opposites. She's a little gothic style. She likes like black. She's always dressing in black and... I didn't want to make it too, too dark, so that's why I left that really light purple on the walls. And I did combine a lot of purple around the room because I didn't want it to be just all like black, black as my soul type of room. And this is Angela's room and I tried to make her room kind of like matching her clothes a little bit. So in the Sims 2 she was wearing these really cute floral teal dress. And I believe there's something like, there's a dress like that in the Sims 4 as well. Although I don't remember what clothes I used on her. But I do remember that it was this color. It was like sea foam, green, whatever you want to call it. And of course it's uh, very feminine, lots of pinks and lots of like light blues and stuff like that. I like her, I like the rooms. They're really, I think they really fit their personalities very well. And I did realize later that I used that bed from cats and dogs twice i also used that in um in the master bedroom with another swatch but i do i actually do like that bed a lot i don't know i just i like to use it all the time i love it and another fun fact about these two twins is that angela is actually dating dustin broke which is another thing I'll have, I will have to fix because they made Dustin Broke uh, when Get Famous came out. So I don't know how I'm going to actually do that. I might, I don't know, I might tweak it a little bit and make Dustin a young adult and like change the Dustin from, from Get Famous for my Dustin or something like that. I have no idea. Um, but I'll figure it out. And then Lilith was dating... Who was she dating? Dirk Dreamer. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, Dirk Dreamer. Yeah, he was... Um, that's another fan thing. Dirk Dreamer's dad was in love with Cassandra in The Sims 2. More weird things about it. <laughs> this man, the timelines are all over the place. They're worse than the timelines from X-Men. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and then the parents are Daniel and Mary Sue. And Daniel is actually in the athlete... Athlete? Athletic career. Athlete career. Wait, what What was it called in The Sims 4? Athlete career. And Mary Sue is in the politics career, I believe. So that's why I made this really big um, office. She is... Apparently, they're the story of their family is that their marriage is kind of suffering a little bit apparently because of i don't know if it was because of mary sue being too busy i have no idea i don't really remember i have the wiki open but i don't want to read at the same time i'm doing the voiceover but it's just it's kind of weird that the sims 2 was kind of dark and realistic sometimes so they had these little families with, I don't know, troubling marriages and uh, and cheating and, and I don't know, it was crazy. But anyways, I am pretty much coming up the end of this video and I want you guys to know that I will be uploading a, um, what's it called? I'm blanking out. Uh, island living build at some point this week uh, Maybe it's already up by the time you're seeing this. I don't know go check it out. Maybe I'll link it. Maybe I won't But <laughs> I do have intentions of posting a video with Island with Island living I had a tiny little build that I had time to make while I was at EA play however, I forgot to take screenshots because I'm super smart <laughs> and I couldn't, I, I was thinking about uploading the build without screenshots, but most people probably just watch the first few minutes of the video or they skip through and then they go, they and then they skip through uh, all the way to the end to, to see the screenshots and the final results. So I figured that I might as well just wait up 
until I have um, the expansion pack again and I can just, you know, take screenshots and do a proper video because what, what would it be like? I don't want to do any half-assed video for something like that. I want to make a decent video. And maybe, maybe I'll make more than one build. Who knows? Maybe I'll have time. Hopefully I will. But yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. And uh, if you guys are enjoying the series, series? This is not a series, this is just a build. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next one. Enjoy the rest of the build.